Sunnylands is the historic estate of Walter and Leonore Annenberg. They built this as a winter residence and it was completed in 1966 and they lived here until their deaths in both 2002 and 2009. Sunnylands has been referred to as the Camp David of the West, and that is, of course, because presidents came here to relax and to um, get away from the hustle and bustle of Washington, D.C. Um, during uh, the Annenberg lifetime. Walter Annenberg's father, Moses Annenberg, owned a company called Triangle Publications, Inc., and that company actually um, published the racing daily racing form and the Philadelphia Inquirer um, and his father had been involved in this business for decades his father actually was sent to prison um, in 1940 for tax evasion and at that point Walter took on the reins of Triangle Publications and it was in deep financial problems and he was responsible for introducing a number of new um, publishing elements that um, were wildly successful. Seventeen magazine was launched in the early 1940s, the first magazine in America geared specifically for young women. He pulled together T this idea of TV Guide and launched TV Guide at a time when there were only 10% of American households who owned televisions. That of course became the most popular magazine in America, had the highest circulation for decades, and made the bulk of the fortune of Triangle Publications. Walter Annenberg had really a genius for recognizing future trends and was able to use his company to get ahead of those trends. Leonore Annenberg was a delightful, hospitable woman who um, was very typical of her generation. She was the woman behind the man. Um, very often, Walter would be the person who received the first recognition, and he was the, the one who um, certainly was the businessman whose monies funded their lifestyle. Walter actually had a speech impediment, and so he practiced every day um, to make certain that he could form his words and speak clearly. And so he was very careful about his language and his presentation. So he, he was more reserved. And Mrs. Annenberg was instead the more lighthearted and more um, engaging conversationalist. We're in the atrium of the house. This is the room that you would have seen as you were welcomed to Sunnylands. Presidents, the Queen of England, major political figures, great celebrities all came through the front doors. This space was used for receptions, for the New Year's Eve parties that happened regularly. Much of the furniture in this space was removed and it was set so that they could have up to about 110 people um, for a seated dinner and dancing. Um, Jimmy Stewart might sit at the piano and, um, and play, Bob Hope entertained, and Frank Sinatra, of course. Walter Annenberg knew Ronald Reagan going back to the 1930s. And so they had this really long personal history and when Ronald Reagan was an actor in Hollywood. And so over time, that um, relationship, which was deep and personal, continued. And when Ronald Reagan was governor of the state of California, he came here. And then, of course, after he had been elected president, he continued to come here. He came every single year for 18 of the Annenberg New Year's Eve parties. And so um, that was a moment every year where Hollywood and government came together in a, in a large social gathering. Otherwise, the Annenbergs really entertained in small groups. The Annenbergs would invite these individuals who were their friends to spend time here, and then they would thoughtfully determine who those friends might enjoy meeting and um, create these kinds of connections that perhaps hadn't existed before. The architect, A. Quincy Jones, used these elements of mid-century modern architecture to 
create a space that was informal, that could flow from place to place, and that at, at the same time took a huge space. This is actually 6,400 square feet, which was the size of five average American homes in the 1960s. And yet it doesn't feel overwhelming. It, it has a very comfortable kind of quality to it. And that is the combination of the architecture and then the furniture groupings that William Haynes designed. Right off the atrium and living room is the Room of Memories, a very special room at Sunnylands. So the Room of Memories was actually named that by the Annenbergs. They made this determination that they wanted a space where they could uh, keep the memories of the important friends and family and other individuals who they had come in contact with during their lifetimes. So there's actually a portrait of Winston Churchill that's signed by Winston Churchill. He met Walter Annenberg in the late 1940s. Um, we have a photo of the Annenbergs with Prince Charles, this one from 1986. The Annenbergs, of course, had a really important relationship with the royal family, and so you see Walter and the Queen Elizabeth. Um, because he was the ambassador to the court of St. James and lived in London for five years, they continued for the rest of their lives to, um, to correspond and connect. Um, you see Walter actually getting out of the carriage as he was going to be presented in London to the Queen as he took on the job of ambassador. Down here you actually see a photo of the bushes um, signed with lasting appreciation, friendship too. Here's George W. Bush, um, much later in the Annenberg's life. The Clintons um, with gratitude for your friendship from Hillary Rodham Clinton and Bill Clinton. It, this wall is full of individual memories that um, record numerous conversations over decades in the Annenberg's life. Clearly, those individuals who, who were important to them over time made it to this wall. So it isn't generally um, an individual who they knew only and interacted with only once, but rather people who became their friends. In addition, we have a photograph of Ronald Reagan sitting in this chair, looking at the television in this cabinet when Gorbachev was speaking to the American people about nuclear disarmament. And at the same time, Ronald Reagan's speech to the Soviet, Soviet people was being broadcast. This important topic um, was critical in changing world political dynamics. And, um, and for us, it makes this a very important historical spot in Sunnylands. The Annenbergs were definitely Republicans, and they were lifelong Republicans. However, they crossed the aisle. And so, actually, Walter Annenberg um, had the Philadelphia Inquirer endorse Lyndon Johnson when he ran for president. So he, um, he didn't only support Republicans, and the Republicans that he did support tended to be more centrist um, in relation to what we might see today. This is the Yellow Room. It's one of five historic guest rooms here at Sunnylands. And this room was the preferred presidential room. So the Reagans always stayed in this room. It has a beautiful view. And um, so did the Bushes. Uh, Margaret Thatcher was here. Um, Colin Powell with his wife Alma were here. Um, so really a, a prestigious list of room residents. And like all the rooms in the guest wing, this was differentiated by its color. We have a pink room and a peach room and a green and blue room along with this yellow room. And actually, if you were staying here, you would have color-coordinated jelly beans and specially um, selected 
books to read. Um, this room, as one of the earliest rooms, actually also had twin beds. We have it set up that way. Uh, today, if you visit Sunnylands as a participant in one of our retreats, we actually change this out and provide current retreat participants with king-size beds, more comfortable and, and with contemporary linens and all of that. But uh, you would have the opportunity to join that nice long list of important people who had slept here before you. The Annenbergs made a gift of this property to the nation for the purpose of continuing its history by dynamic and relevant conversations amongst people today. We have an interesting mission. Our mission is both exclusive and inclusive. So our property is being um, preserved and maintained so that it can be used by a, a relatively small number of people for these high-level retreats, but at the same time it's being preserved and maintained so that it can be open to the public for a broader public access so that they can appreciate the history of the place and experience the uniqueness and beauty of um, Sunnylands.